uh, going back to the regular season, you've had three really strong games against the Raptors. Now, what is it about this matchup you think that, that you've been able to exploit? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really searching to exploit anything. My job is just go out there and play hard and look for oppor opportunities to be aggressive, and that's what I've been doing. You had a slow start to the, to the first round and have gotten it going. Is there <laughs> something that got you going? Is there something that you that you found to help? No, I mean, I've been playing the same way. Um, for me, I feel like the playoffs are about matchups and um, you know trying to you know take advantage of certain opportunities. You have a, a lot of time to scout, to to try to figure out the advantages you can um, you know seek when you're playing. Um, it just so happened that the first round wasn't you know my best round, and you know I'm fine with that. Um, my job is to, just to go out there and do whatever it takes to help this team win, and that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm not concerned about um, going out there and trying to score. I'm just trying to give it all I have on the defensive end and go from there. And, you know, my numbers haven't been the greatest, but I'm happy with the results of you know coming out of round one, being able to now play against Toronto in round two, and then yesterday coming out playing hard and you know, getting the game one. So you know that's all I'm concerned about. LeBron has talked about the lessons you guys learned from game three about you know not getting down when you're behind. Um, can you see the effects of that still? Yeah, of course. Um, we just have to continue to play. We can't worry about what the score is at any given time, um, whether we're up or we're down. And we have to continue to take take it one possession at a time, make sure we get stops, and go from there. Jim, you came in here on one day rest after a grueling seven game series. Uh, how were you guys able to recharge that quickly? In the, the day, it's just basketball. You go out there and you just play hard and. You know, leave it out there on the floor. You worry about the next game when that time comes. Um, yesterday, we had to worry about game one. Uh, we couldn't be concerned with uh, giving one day rest. Our job was to go out there and just compete. How much time did you spend on Valanciunas yesterday? Um, uh, I don't know. I can't answer that. I, I, I didn't. Um, I haven't seen uh, the minutes against him. Uh, you know. In my mind, I got everybody on that team. So, um, you know, I'm just, you know, happy to be on the floor, happy to be playing. I'm, I'm just out there just playing and competing, man. Did you notice him on you when you were scoring? Especially yeah, the first yeah. Um, yeah, I had to play the five, so he had to guard me. But I, I wasn't really, um, you know, trying to focus on that. He's a giant, but you seem to have yeah, a step yeah. or two on him. Yeah, I mean, I have to, I mean, I can't. You know, out tough him. I'm gonna, you know, compete against him. You know, he's just not gonna go out there and bully me. You know, he's gonna have to work hard. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna back down from a challenge. I don't. I don't care who's on the floor. Um, you know, I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna make that person work hard, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it out there. Jeff, Jeff, do you buy into the notion that one team can psychologically get into the head yeah. of another the way? Have over Toronto? No, I mean, especially in the playoffs, every game is going to be different. I'm pretty sure they're going to go in today, watch film, and um, trying to, you know, figure out ways that they can come back in game two and, um, you know, tie it up. But you know, you know I'm I'm not really uh, thinking about, you know, us being in their head. I mean, they they were number one in the East, um, you know, top five team in the NBA. So I, I'm I'm not concerned with that. But what does it do for the team's confidence when you seemingly own a team? We don't own a team. We just compete and we play hard and we, we won yesterday. Jeff, what are the differences in the matchups maybe between the first round and this round that might open things up for you? For me individually? Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm not too concerned about who's matching up against me or who's in front of me. Um, I'm just trying to find ways I can help this team and you know, take advantage in the open court or or when there's um, a set that we run. Uh, you know, I'm just looking for spots on the floor where I can be aggressive. But there are some differences. Yeah, I mean, it's a different team. I mean, it's diff different personnel. So you have to, um, you know, take that into place. But, you know, the plays are still the same. Um, 
the opportunities here and there are almost the same. We just have to make sure we're making the right play to, you know, be aggressive to help our team. What has helped you guys defensively to, uh, I mean, in the playoffs, especially and you know, yesterday, and that the defense has taken a big step up from the regular season. What do you think has happened here? Um, we think communicating a lot better, uh, but on the same page. Everybody's out there just uh, competing, man. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about effort. It's all about you know being there for your teammate. Uh, and I think we've done a better job since uh, game one of Indiana of doing that. We just have to continue that. There's so much talk about the Raptors bench obviously being a strength of their team this season. Do you think you got your bench is kind of getting back in the groove now? I feel like we've always had a strong bench. Uh, you know, Toronto does have a good bench. They have, uh, they rely a lot on that bench. But, you know, we also have a, a good team and a good bench that can compete. And, you know, that's, that's our job to go out there and compete, to give the starters a rest, and uh, try to impact the game as best as we can. Uh, so uh, that's what we are going to go out there and do. The Eastern Conference semifinals come home to the queue as the Cavs take on their conference rivals, the Toronto Raptors, for Game 3 on Saturday and Game 4 on Monday. Be a part of the playoffs action. Go to Cavs.com slash tickets now to get in the game.